how to overcome procrastination. Well, I'm going to tell you straight up, if you watch this and you don't put it into action, then it's not going to work because I used to watch all types of videos about how to not procrastinate and I would procrastinate on actually doing the shit. So straight up, it ain't going to work for you if you don't actually try, you know? So I wrote it all down on my phone here and I'm just go over what I wrote. So the moral of this is your desire to do something will always overpower the limitation you have. If you wanted enough. And now some people might be like the way that I was. I was like, but I do want it enough. I want it more than anything. I don't understand. This is the only thing I want in my life. I want it. I want it. You know? And like I was, I just didn't understand because I was like, how? You know, if you want it bad enough, you'll do it. Well, I fucking want it bad enough. Why am I automatically not snapping into just doing it? You know what I mean? And the truth is, if you're not doing it, then you're prioritizing something else down the line, you know, like your energy and your prioritization is being spent somewhere else and you may not even know it. And that's what my problem was, you know, it's like, well, I want this bad enough. Why doesn't it work? You know, it's just like <laughs> because there's things that you think aren't affecting you that you're doing beforehand, you know, that you're doing like uh, instead of putting your energy toward what you want, you're putting your energy toward something else. And then, like, when the thing that matters comes along, it's like you don't have enough energy to care about it on the level that's necessary for you to pursue it, you know? So I'm going to give three fucking examples. I'll give three examples of this, of how to overcome this. So first one is procrastination and laziness, you know? Like, pretty much what I already said, you know? Like, if you're procrastinating and you're lazy then you don't actually want it bad enough you would actually prefer to be lazy you actually like sleeping in the bed more you actually like doing whatever you do more and like you you say and think that you want the progression or the certain goal bad enough but you actually want being lazy more because you do it you know like you might not tell yourself that you want to be lazy more but the fact that you're being lazy more proves that you prefer to do that. You know, like you want to do that. Like no one really does anything that they don't want. Like say if someone puts a gun to your head and says, do this, you know, you don't want to do that. You just don't want to die. You see what I mean? So it's just like, oh man, I don't want to die so bad that I'm going to do this. It has nothing to do with wanting to do the thing they're making you do. Does that make sense? No. Next thing, next example would be like, if you're poor, if you're homeless, you know, like there's been pl plenty of people that come off of the streets from being poor or homeless that make it to the lifestyle that they want, you know. And of course, everyone has different circumstances. I don't want to be like, oh, poor people should all do this and it fixes their problem. Of course not. You know, it's not that simple. But like if you desire to not be poor bad enough, if you desire the life that you want bad enough then you're going to do whatever it takes to achieve it. You're going to figure it out because you would, you prefer the life more than you prefer to stay homeless and just accept your sad reality. You know, like it's just, if you want it bad enough, you'll do it, you know, and you're going to pri prioritize all your energy into achieving that thing. You know, like now the third example would be like uh, quitting drugs. Like, <laughs> for me weed has been a big problem but it's like well if you desire to fucking live your life and fulfill everything that you want to feel without fucking weed holding you back if you want it bad enough then you'll fucking stop fucking smoking weed as simple as that you know there ain't no fucking other answer if you desire to quit the drug bad enough then you'll quit you know now i can't say this for like extremely addicted people on hardcore drugs i can't say that you know i've never been on hardcore drugs so i wouldn't know but I know that there's people that have gotten over it and the people who got over it desired to get help more than they desired to stay inside of that lifestyle. Now, a better example of the drug, uh, quitting the drugs would be like someone who gets clean off of a hardcore drug and like they have that thought in their mind like, wait, I can go get high or I can stay sober. And like they have to ultimately make that decision in their own mind and the decision is made based off of what they prioritize more, you know, you know, they're thinking like, oh, actually, I would rather live my normal life and see my family and be happy in this way 
than go get high off of a drug and be in that sad little freaking high temporarily, you know, like, oh man, it's, it's, uh, I just feel bad for people on drugs, man. I want to help them too. But anyway, yeah. So your desire to do something will always overpower any limitation if you want it enough. And that's just the truth. And I always heard similar advice. And no one told me the specific piece of advice that I'm giving right now. The fact is, yes, you might want it, want it, want it, want it, but you don't realize that you're putting your energy in other places. So subconsciously, it means you want that more. You know, like if it, for me, it was like, man, I want to fucking put out videos for people to fucking listen to so they might be able to get helped in life, you know. But I had other things holding me back, like my daily life and like smoking weed and shit and just holding me back and I'm at a point in my life where it's like well if you actually desire to help people then you will do it it doesn't matter if you can't fucking walk breathe it doesn't matter if you're sick it doesn't matter if you're fucking anything if you actually desire that in your soul you will do it and what am I doing I'm will doing it right now <laughs> you know what I mean because like there's no more fucking excuses I don't give a fuck dude like if I die and I didn't try to help people then I failed my life and I desire to not fail my life more than I desire to be a lazy fuck. <laughs>